Hello everybody! Welcome to the final new update for Enter the Gungeon Farewell to Arms. I am so unbelievably excited to check this out and a little bit sad at the same time. No, no new major updates after this. But alas, I am pumped as hell. If you're brand new here, I've been uploading Enter the Gungeon effectively every single day since it's come out. So this is going to be an outrageous, fun, new experience for me. There's going to be new characters, I think two new characters, at least one new mode, new guns, new items, new secret floor. I don't know how much of that we're going to experience today, necessarily. But I'm just going to get right into it and see exactly what is new. I'm doing a lot of hand motions that you guys can't see, and I'm because <laughs> I'm just too excited. I kind of want to just play as somebody, I mean... You know what, I usually roll my die, and since we don't have the new characters unlocked, let's do that. I'm gonna roll the die off camera here, see who we got. Alright, we actually rolled a six. So we're gonna be the hunter here, to poke on into the gungeon. Any new NPCs? There's a new item for sale, the Evolver. Okay. I don't know if that's a gun or a passive. Nothing in here yet. I bet you we're going to have to unlock the new NPCs to check out the new modes. All right, nothing for sale in here. All right, going on in. Hopefully we get the Evolver. I think there's something uh, scripted in the game where if, once you unlock a new item, you're, you're more likely to see it soon. So we'll see what happens there. But we could go an entire run here without even seeing anything new necessarily. But uh, I'm banking on no. I'm thinking we're gonna maybe find the new NPC, unlock it, and get things ready for another run where we'll check out the, uh, maybe either the new character or the new rainbow mode in the next episode. But for anybody who has been following my series, I, I have been doing a lich killing streak where I've got 170 something lich kills in a row. That is gonna be going on the wayside. If we, if something cool presents itself to us, we're not gonna we're not gonna care about uh, about death if it means we're going to miss out on something new and cool. So don't you worry, don't you worry your pretty little face. And for all of the people that I would like to affectionately dub the gun initiated, people who are new to Gungeon in general, I will try to uh, to to give a little bit of info on what some items do, especially ones that are a little bit less obvious. Guns are going to be pretty darn obvious. You're going to see them in action or not. And passives will probably be a little bit more confusing. I'm going to assume that most people know Gungeon at this point, but if you don't, welcome. Big welcome to the community. If you are brand new and you're looking for a place where you can learn comfortably, I do have a Discord channel that you can join. There's a link in the description for that. And uh, I, there's going to be a lot of people there that are very willing to, to help you learn to play the game over in the Gungeon section of my Discord, so you can pop on in there if you feel like it. But alas, we got our shop. Immediate new item. Table Tech Shotgun. We're buying it. We're buying it. My guess is when we flip a table, it does a shotgun effect. This was actually one of the items that was in the game's files, but I think it was not quite complete or something. Oh, come on. I don't think it was ever completed. I'm not sure, though. As soon as we get a table, ooh, baby, we're definitely going <laughs> to flip that bad boy. But I'm excited that we immediately got a new item. And we got another new item. Admit one. Ticket. What the hell? Evolvers join the shootout. Summons Gatling Gull as an ally. <laughs> what? Ticket? Oh, ticket to the gun show? Is that what it is? Gatling Gull respects martial prowess in gun engineers. Spend this ticket and bring in the big guns. Table tech shotgun. This ancient technique will fire a vicious shotgun blast when a table is flipped. Chapter 6 of the Tabla Sutra and Flipping. There's both momentary creation and a permanent destruction. Both should be cherished. Alright. So, we got a lot of new stuff already. We won't be able to open up that other chest until we get a key. We'll see what happens. 
So we can use the spacebar item, but I'm thinking that it might be a one-time use? I have no idea. It came out of a red chest, though, so that seems like a garbage one-time use. It's not a one-time use! We get the Gatlingo on our side! Uh, holy moly. Oh my goodness. That's pretty exciting. I'm... Okay, we can't have two. <laughs> that would have been actually insane. This seems really good. This seems really good. Come on, perfect the boss. My honor is on the line. My honor is on the line, thank goodness. Wow. Uh, I can't believe we get the Gatling Gull. Void Marshal, that's a nice, solid, if basic-ish type weapon. So we're not going to be able to go to the sewers, the secret floor here. Because we don't have enough keys unless we can find ourselves the secret room. Maybe there'd be something in there? I don't know. I don't know. I typically don't like to look too long for this because it can, it can get really tedious. Usually they are in dead end rooms or including like the shop. So I'm going to try the shop. All right. So I'm just going to open this up because who knows, to be honest. Hey, we got a key. If only we, you know, got that uh, before opening the chest. On to the next... I'm just excited we got to uh, two new items already. Regular shotgun is not a not a bad gun actually. It's not the most crazy. All right, nothing new there. It literally just shoots out shotgun shells. That is outstanding. I'm into it. Seems like maybe even a new room layout. Oh my goodness, I'm into it. Fun. Run, 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 run. Mr. Zelda Man, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Mr. Zelda Man, I don't feel so good. So either the Gatling Gull Admit One Ticket charges up really quickly, or uh, whoop, I think it charges itself up, kind of. You know, like the, when the Gatling Gull does damage, it looks like it charges the ticket up. That's kind of exciting. I, God dang it. But yeah, some of the new things in here, I mean, spoilers if you're, uh, you know, if you were avoiding what the, the devs already announced about this. Nothing, nothing major, but the two new characters. One of them is going to be called Paradox. That is effectively going to be a randomized mode. So you're going to be able to uh, pick him and get a randomized set of, I assume, just items. I don't know exactly the extent of it yet. Whoop. It has not really been uh, has not really been set, so I'm excited to figure that out. The other one is going to be the Gunslinger. Do I want to open this up with my key? Fine. Okay. That was a uh, is a good payoff. I, I'd say as long as we got a key in our shop, we should be fine, and we should be guaranteed a key in our shop. Actually. Yep. Brick Breaker is is, is pretty good. But, yeah, no, no new passives that I gotta explain really yet. The guns are straightforward, though. Guns are straightforward. You, you see what they do. And I'll explain if they've got something that you don't know about. And for the people who are definitely or just, like, completely not gun-initiated, who maybe have watched, you know, my seven, 700-ish <laughs> Gungeon videos across my career here, that is a really good item, but we're definitely not going to take it instead of a new item. That does let us charm enemies, make them fight for us, and it also lets us steal from shops, which is a really game, game strengthening thing to do. New music. What's up with that? New music in there. I wonder if that's something of note. We'll see. Maybe that's just... Maybe they just made new music that is going to be at every shrine? Or maybe that's... God, we're going to we're gonna be in, like, uh... <laughs> like that... That five, ten-year-old aliens meme. With, uh... With the secret room. We're going to think that everything... Or secret floor, rather. 
We're gonna think everything is related to the secret floor until we find it. But it's exciting. I, I love roguelikes because of this sense of discovery. You know, we don't know... We don't know some stuff right now. After 750-ish hours... I'm gonna just use this because I don't want to just have it forever and never use it. After this many hours of a game, you, you know, you learn quite a bit of it. So to have this sense of wonder again is really, really fantastic. Especially for a game that I just, I cherish so much. I really do adore it. Whoop. And, you know, big thank you to people who, uh, who, do I, come on, haven't been hit yet. That's, that's exciting. Also, a curse to mention. Huge thank you, though, but I just want to say. The people who, who have subscribed for, for daily videos and everything like that, who made this uh, my series a part of their daily routine throughout the years, huge thank you. Like, outrageously huge thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get emotional. That's not yet. Not yet, you dingus. N at least wait until after the boss to get stupidly emotional. Like, too emotional. Oh. But huge thank you. Like, it's it's been outstanding, and I, I'm it's a I'm very happy to be a part of the community, and I hope that all the new people that are coming in can find a place where they can uh, you know feel feel welcome. If I well, if if my place is not that, that's okay. <clears throat> but I hope you like the game. Oh, hungry bullets. Hey yo, that's a really good one. That gives us shots that will. I, I don't know how to describe it correctly, but you see those purple shots? They break other bullets, and that is as wild as it sounds. Should we do the Shelaton Shrine just to figure out? So we get a bunch of curse. Wait. It's not doing the music again. Okay, so we get a decent amount of curse for the, uh, the, and as a result, we get a bunch of ammo. We're not going to be doing the rat, I guess. We'll save that for next time, I suppose. I don't really want to hinder any of these new items or experiences just to see the, the rat. That was, you know, that's kind of the big thing from AG and D. That, that was the big bang of that, that update. And getting, uh, expectations in check just... It has been said that this is an update more about the size of the supply drop update for those who are familiar, which is, uh, it was like a, a nice medium size, like, like su supply drop, you know, it, it, they dropped in uh, some new guns, dropped in some new enemies, stuff like that. So I don't know if there are any new enemies. I don't know if I, that was mentioned anywhere. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume there's no new enemies, except for maybe some bosses or on the secret floor. Wherever on earth that may be. When I got the admit one ticket, I'll be honest, I thought that it was going to be the way to get into the secret floor. I thought it was like admit one into the secret floor. I was willing to bet my bucks on it. Ah! Uh, holy moly. We need that. If we could get the A key 47, we don't have to worry about keys for the rest of the run. That'd be fantastic gun that can be used as a key. Straightforward. I mean, you can probably just tell by looking at it, you know? Don't, 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 don't get hit. Don't get hit. It's, it's, it's been this long. Not here. Not like this. Not like this. Dot gif. Dot jpeg. Dot whatever format memes are in. PNG. Got our boss. I definitely like to do a full clear before the boss. You might as well, you know, you, you get more information. In fact, it was... Did we open up a chest on this floor or not? We did not open up a chest on this floor. Okay. So I was going to say, you, you want to wait until the end of the floor to do any, like, chest opening if you can swing it, you know? If you're at a point where you don't literally, like, need that stuff to beat the floor. You kind of want to wait until the end of the floor. You can take all your keys, all your knowledge about what the floor has, the money, you know, the, the shops, how much money you have, etc. 
and use it to make the best decision you can. If you can swing it. If you can swing it. Only if you can swing it. But, you know, huge, huge tips. Like, I get this question a lot. Also, I'll, I'll go into another thing in a, in a moment. Oh, for the... Not the gun initiated, but the un retromation initiated. The unredo initiated. But a thing I get... A question I get asked a lot is, I'm new at the game. What can I do to get better? I want to reassure a lot of those people that this is a... It's a roguelike that really, really... Like, how well you do scales more than a lot of other roguelikes with how much time you put into it. So don't feel discouraged if you're, like, not kicking butt immediately. Because, uh, you, you just need to get used to the room layouts, get used to the, what you think about certain weapons, and, you know, just, just learn the layouts because at the beginning of the game, you're going to be treating each room like it's a reflex challenge, but over time, you'll essentially start to treat it a little bit more like a puzzle, and that's, that's one big thing I'll say. Your, your goal, eventually, is to not have to dodge roll to dodge attacks. Because that means you've got more uh, more damage uptime necessarily. But that's not something that you're going to, you know, probably be familiar with or comfortable with right in the beginning of playing the game. And that's okay. Hello, Gunsling King. Complete the next room in challenge mode. Why'd you bark at me? You bark at me or you bark at the Gunsling King? Shockwave final attack. We might take our first hit in here. I'm going to bring in this boy. Jammed man. Extra damage, extra health, extra speed. 100% reason to remember the name. Shockwave. Easy peasy. And we got a key. Z. Gunzang. Oh. Another thing that they did is they apparently buffed and nerfed a lot of items and guns that maybe were a little bit more underwhelming, so that's going to be exciting to go through. That may be a thing that will slowly, knowledge will trickle in over time. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. I need one more key. There's no music. That is terrifying. Huh. Cannonball rock, cannonball rock. I don't like this stupid spot here. Whoa. Holy moly. Okay, 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 okay. I just want to get my Gatling Gull. Alright. Should probably be using this. Can function better at a long range. The Gatling Gull blocks bullets? Are you kidding me? That's OP, man. That's ridiculous. This is not a long range weapon. But we don't really have a long range weapon. That is actually insane that the Gatling Gull blocks bullets and lasts for what seems to be the entire room. He's also shooting at a ghost right now. Oh. She does so much damage. I can't believe this. Really, really good item. I mean, I'm glad that it's in a red chest, so that makes it a little bit more uncommon. But that, it may be one of the best active items in the game. Oh my god. Hey, new gun. Synergy, too. What do you got? Chamber gun. Product of environment. Master's chambers. Alright, my best guess is a gun that scales based off of how many master rounds we've got. Transforms based on chamber. Uses an advanced shape memory alloy. When exposed to different environmental stimuli, reacts with the salts in the gungeoneer's bodies. Transform it into a location-specific gun. Master rounds can also influence the shape of this curious weapon. Oh! So, my guess is it cha the base gun changes based off of the area you're in. And then if you get the master rounds, you can probably shift between them. Shooting a golden ring? Okay, so it can be a shotgun, a drill, a golden ring shooting thing? What's that from? The, the uh, I don't know, my best guess is maybe the first, first floor? 
Okay, so we did not get a third key. We're gonna have to either find the secret room, which could happen. We have a lot of blanks. Because if we find the secret room and there's a key in there, that would be outstanding. That wasn't it, was it? So we're gonna throw them out like crazy. Secret room. Oh, I don't think it's here. I don't think it can be here. I don't think it can be on the bottom of this. Could be here. No! I don't know, guys. I don't want to spend forever. Alright. What's my last best guess? I don't think it can be out of this room, can it? Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to open up these anyways. Magic lamp. Good deal. Nice gun. Gun boots. They're down well boots, so we can shoot little bullets behind us when we dodge roll. We could even get the heavy boots. I think there's a synergy with the two, on, isn't there? Oh, iron stance. That just does uh, more damage with our shotgun. Makes it just a, a handier weapon in general. On to the next floor. We're booking it. Booking and cooking it. We're going to try out the new chamber gun. How don't we? How don't we? But anyway, another thing, people who are new here, a thing I do is, throughout my Gungeon videos, I like to answer questions from my Discord channel. Like I said before, there's a link in the description for that. I don't want to be too self-promotion-y, it, it will get real annoying. But, uh, I answer some questions that are left in that channel, the Rito Questions channel. So, <laughs> Gudge? Drudge? Jury and Executioner. In Roguelikes, do you prefer to have starter characters that are basically the same, really different, or are there any other models you prefer? You know, that's a that's a question I, I love to talk about. I really do prefer, oh, I really do prefer quite different ones, like ones that are, are pretty, pretty darn different. Like, in this game there, there's the four main Gungeoneers that are all relatively close, and then there's also the extra two, I mean, now there's two more even. Oh, I love it. And the the robot and the bullet, I mean, spoilers, I'll, I'll go into them now if you don't want to be spoiled. You already kind of were when you saw them. Uh! But the uh, the robot, you know, how he can't, he cannot get any health. Red heart health containers, he can only get shields. That really does shape shape part of his gameplay in a, in a, in a very meaningful way. Also, I would even argue that the fact that when you get junk as robot, which you get from, you know, breaking chests, you can get junk. You can get a 5% damage upgrade with him, which is really, really interesting as well. So you can tactically destroy some chests that you think might be garbage. That you think might be garbage. Oh my god, cool dude. This is the version of the hollow. Please, can we get the synergy for this one? It's like shooting out some kind of spiky ice cube that explodes into rockets. Excuse me, hello, yes. Also, are you are you serious? We can get the cell creep just in random rooms now. That is a big deal. That is a big big deal. What happens if I give him the admit one though? I almost feel like he's the secret the secret room, the way to get in. But they wouldn't make something as rare as just like one specific item be the thing to get in, right? Right? I got no clue. That would have been our first hit. That's wild. I've not been hit yet. But uh my, my best guess at this point for where the secret room is located, secret room, sorry, Minnesota, secret room is, is going to be something to do with that cell creep right now because there's no secret room entrances on the hollow yet. Oh, vampire inflation. We can sell our blood for money. Thus, <laughs> devaluing the value of the casings immensely. Thus, vampire inflation. 
I don't know. What what else could we throw in in that? It it also could just be that you can unlock or you can get cell creep in random rooms now. Which would be totally possible. And very, very exciting because he's the only way you can sell your items. And he's pretty darn uncommon, to be frank. Pretty darn uncommon. I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. I'm going to get myself killed for it. Okay. I don't know if this is the best item or the best version. Oh my god, does it have... Oh, okay, so it just has... Oh, it scales it down. So this is like using 10 shells. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, baby. Cell key. We're gonna unlock my rainbow... Ch we I didn't even mention this. Guys, guess what? You know how there's an extra mode in this game now? One of the extra modes? Rainbow mode? You want to know which bad boy created rainbow mode? Because you're watching them. I, uh, there, there's a mode that I created that is now going to be in the official game called the rainbow, rainbow mode. I am so pumped. That's probably going to be what we, uh, what we unlock here. Unless there is another NPC that they didn't show off. I'm just, I'm not sure, because there's two trophy slots in the challenge room, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to completely ignore the fact that I took, took damage, by the way. There he is, it's rainbow mode! Hey! Thank you for saving me! My name is Bowler. Bowler for short. I've got a great offer for you. Just meet me in the breach and I'll tell you all about it. Be seeing you. It's like I mean, if if we get a text reference in the game, I would I would blow my gasket, but I'm I'm not counting on it. But I it is a we'll, we'll explain the mode when it shows up. If cuz if they follow my rules exactly, I'll be I'll be able to explain what's going on really easily, obviously. But alas, you know what? I just realized that I think I went on a tangent and I did not fully answer the character question from the Discord. And that's the, uh, you know, I really do prefer completely different character types in, in games. Like, the four Gungeoneers are relatively close. They do have different playstyles to an extent, but they're not outrageously different. They, they provide a little bit of a flavor that largely once you're past the first floor kind of wears off there's some lasting effects especially if you're talking about um, why'd you bark especially if you're talking about the um, the robot or or bullet I guess because bullet does have immunity to contact damage which you know it's something thanks for the mun hun Gilded bullets. Our damage scales off of money, and we have the vampire vampire inflation. But I'd say character, yeah. So characters like the robot or the bullet, it's a, it's really nice. It's really nice because it makes the game really feel like you're playing a different one each time. You know, it because a big thing I like about roguelikes, and I talk about this a lot, maybe even too much. There, I say. Uh, wait, can you pet the dog? Is that what's happening? <gasps> you can pet the dog. You can pet the dog. I didn't think this game could get any better. I'll be honest, he's getting in my way right now, though. But I love him. How could I be mad? Alright, so we're gonna sacrifice like a lot. There is a max cap for gilded bullets and that's 500 shells. At that point, you don't get any extra value. And there is diminishing returns, so like... I think it's when you hit 400 shells, you already get like 90% of its effectiveness. That might- this might be like a little bit over the head of a lot of people, but uh, I think a lot of people who have watched the series know, know what I'm talking about. Wall manga. 
You know what? Gunzang is amazing here. Can I stand behind Gatling Gull? I'm scared. Oh my god. I got... I, <laughs> I, I messed it up. Oh boy. I messed it up. I trusted him too much. I didn't realize he was going to get pushed away. He seems like a little a little too strong. I, I don't... But do not nerf him. I want him like this. He's my buff protector. And I don't want him changed for anything. All right. Okay, so... Now what? Should we... Should we undo a little bit of it? Let's, let's undo one. Because... You do get a, a deal. You saw how much that costs, especially because Smiley's here gives us a shop discount as well. So she gives us health equal to the price of one half heart. So when we buy the full heart like that, we're we're getting a good deal. We're getting more money. It's it's literally it's free real estate. So let's go on to the next. I I feel like I might be missing something with the cell creep, the guy in the sewers, but. You know, we'll learn in due time, I'm sure. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. That's typically how these videos go. Is as soon as I get my first hit, then it's all downhill. All right, help me, man. Can you go over pits? I'm assuming no, if you're like the real Gatling Gull. He cannot. Lesson learned. Wonder if there's any synergies with the admit one ticket. Thank you, Heavy Boots for making it so I'm not rolling around here. Hook. Hook. Shoe fly. Had to do it. Had to do it. I was wondering. He was barking just a little bit this whole time. And that's why. That's fantastic. I hope that it's not just limited to the, the hunter since she starts with the dog. I hope that that's everybody who gets the dog. Ooh! Oh! Big cool. Very cool. I love that. I love that. You know what? This is this is the coolest one of all of them. They, they've been getting cooler as they go up. So hold on. I wonder if there's... Are there some for the secret floor, too? Ah! Dumb. Like, if we went to the sewers... There's a key in there. If we went to the sewers or uh, the Abbey of the True Gun or something, I wonder if this would uh, would have something for that, too. My, my initial guess is no, because there's no master round for those, so you wouldn't be able to lock them in place. Who knows? Very, very cool idea for a gun, though. Like, and they they put the amount of work for at least at least five guns into one gun. That is that is pretty dang cool. Can the Gatling Gull die? We haven't seen that yet. Okay. All right. But uh, anyway. Gypsy King in Discord asks, why do you prefer mouse and keyboard over controller? Truly, like, here's the thing. Early on, it was just like a like an honor thing because I actually felt like the auto-aim on controllers felt a little too easy to me. But for me now, like, well, one, now switching back would feel really, really hard. But two, I like the... Uh, the mini map traversal on mouse and keyboard a whole lot better. I it just it it works better for me than just moving around with the analog stick. And at this point there's just there's no reason to go back anymore. Oh. This this space bar item. Got to tell you. It's ridiculous. But yeah, everybody just just use whatever you feel comfortable with. And I really think that there's no shame in using a <laughs> controller either at all. Like, not at all. So we got Lonk. Can we do anything with these now? Hands off, lady. Okay. 
new music in here too. I think they just added a, a little bit of new music. I don't know if that uh, the shrine music was anything that I needed to be like suspicious of or whatever. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, nothing new in here, but Face Melt is really good, especially because we have the Synergy for it that turns it into, instead of shooting in four directions, it shoots in two. We could buy a key. Money is power, but I'll take, I'll take the hit. Fantastic. All right, so we're missing one chest yet. We could buy the other one and get in there too, but I, I don't know. Doesn't doesn't strike my my fancy. I gotta be gotta be frank. Whoop whoop whoop. Anyway, was I supposed to tell people to smash a like button at some point here? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Does anyone even know how to smash the button? Like. There's only... It's, I, it, does anybody have a pressure-sensitive mouse or whatever, even? Let me know how hard you smashed the like button. Uh, <laughs> and tell me if you have a... More importantly, tell me if you have a pressure-sensitive mouse, because that actually sounds really fascinating. The harder you press the button, uh, the, 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 the more you like it. Fantastic. But, I don't know. I just... I. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be a smart idea to go full sellout at a time like this, but that's just not really my jam. That's not really my jam. So what I'll say instead is if you like this video, the description of the video will have a lot of things that are potentially interesting to you. And that's just what I'll say, you know? that That's it. That's my plug. Check the description if you are excited enough about what's going on here and you want to see more stuff by me or whatever the hell you want. And obviously, the subscribe button it gives you gives you the, the videos in your in your box. I will do, be doing Gungeon every single day. Another way to steal. Wait, we don't have the ability to steal. I made that up. Okay. Ballot gives us extra coolness, which means we can charge up our space bar quicker and get more drops. Chest friendship gives us more chest drops. I don't think I really need that right now because we don't really have a lot of keys. Mimic friendship is... I don't really care about it. I don't even feel like explaining it. It's just so irrelevant to our situation right now, I think. All right, so we completed the whole floor. Let's get our item from here. It's the rad gun. Rad! Noise! Noise! Cool! All right, ready to fight the boss? We're sitting at a little bit lower health than I like because of that vampire. Because that gosh dang vampire. So there's a boss damage cap, but apparently it has been nerfed. I don't know how, how much it's been nerfed. My money would be on uh, not very much. Trying to figure out which version of this would really be the most exciting. I, I just... The visuals on this one are so cool. It reminds me of the, the Ghostbusters gun. But it's shooting in, in two. Almost like a... Like Helix bullets plus the Ghostbusters gun. If you blank at the right time, you can stop those shots from hitting the wall and thus spawning the enemies. That can be a really good tactic. But you gotta, you gotta get the really good timing. It's gotta be pretty, pretty dang precise. What's happening? Oh my god, he gets the hungry bullets? I didn't even notice that he was getting my hungry bullets. That is bizarre. Oh, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Almost got him in one cycle. That's okay. We just got another one. Yeah, I'm not going to tell them that uh, that they should nerf this item, but what I am going to say is thank you for the free <laughs> thank you for the free win. Ooh, baby. I love it. That's a dead dragon. We will be going down to the Lich 
instead of going to the pasts. I just think that it'll probably end up better. Should we spend our money on a key? I don't know if I love this idea, but I just I want to make sure I I play it safe and I do get to see the see the list just in case there's some kind of unlock. Oh, this is a mimic, anyways. I got lucky. I got lucky. Probably should have been using this on the boss, anyways. Commando. I'd say that was worth it. I know we're getting a damage penalty, but that's fine. We don't care about those. We don't care about optimal gameplay right now. I just want I just want to live. Okay, so we didn't get the bullet and kill the pass, so we like have to go down, but I do want to see anything new up here. No, that's all the same. That's all the same. The lich it is. We saw, we saw a decent amount of new things. We saw a handful of new items, for sure. Also, the uh, fact that you can pet the dog is really the only thing I care about. Oh my god. What on earth? The bullet hell version of this gun is like... What, what's that one? Oh my god. It's a... Uh, shoot, what is it called? I never really use it because it's not that great, typically. It shoots uh, the, you know, the lightning beam that scatters across the whole floor, targets all the enemies. But it's like that, but it actually does a lot of damage. That's really cool. Like, it seems like it does an, an amount of damage that it shouldn't. Am I wrong? Or maybe the damage of this thing scales based off of how many how many master rounds you have too. That could be another another thing to consider. That wouldn't uh, that wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't befuddle me, not one bit. I would love some ammo though, at this point. Shotgun. Okay. Gallengald's down there taking over half the room. It seems like maybe the items that they added, they were kind of leaning towards uh, adding a couple more items that really made a huge difference. Which I'm, I'm in favor of. I'm in favor of. Also, just the fact that this the Gatlingal gets... Wow. The fact that the Gatlingal gets your, uh, I'm just, I don't, it's so much better than everything else. I'm going to do that for nine shells. I don't, I don't even care. He gets your, your bullet modifiers. That's really exciting. That could, that could lead to some pretty, pretty wacky results, I'd say. Taking a guess that this is the correct direction. Guys, I'm, I'm like really confused about how strong this gun is and I love it. I mean, it's only this strong in bullet hell, which is generally a lot of people consider to be, uh, you know, a, li a little bit more on the slow, slow burn kind of an end. So it's really, really, really exciting to get. And honestly, we'll make it like a top tier get for me. In addition to the fact that it is a, it's a gun that immediately makes every situational situation uh, beatable with one gun. Dear God, this is amazing. Feels like I like I I feel like I'm cheating. This thing is OP. So my my sneaking suspicion is that it scales based off the master rounds, and since we got four out of five, it's wrecking. It's doing amazing. I do want to try out this drill version a little bit more. It seems like the most dangerous of all of them for sure. Because we have to get really close. Like, does it break bullets? Uh, 
I don't think it breaks bullets. It doesn't even, it doesn't break bullets. This, <laughs> compare the two. Compare that to this, what on earth? Gatlingo really is a nice bodyguard. He, he pushes him away too. Guys, I think I have a crush. I think I got a crush on Gatlingo. Is it possible to love a digital bird this much? They made a bird dating game, didn't they? Oh, we got the Lich. Whoa, the damage, though. And we don't even have to dodge. This is amazing. They're all gone. See you later. See you in hell, but actually not really. This is my hell, suckers. Dead phase one. Guys, this is uh, this is very clearly a win <laughs> in my books. We may want to switch to the gun zing for the next phase so that we can save a little bit more of the chamber gun for the third phase. Because this phase is a little bit larger. You know, he's a bit bigger. It's really easy to hit him with a gun zing. Also, I, oop, I am noticing that the bosses are dying quicker. And we are... You know what? Also, we do have 265 shells and the Gilded Bullets. So we have to keep that in mind as well. Gilded Bullets is one of one of the strongest damage upgrades you can get with the right amount of money. Final phase, and then we'll see what happens. We're gonna I can't wait to go back to the breach and talk to what I'm going to affectionately refer to as my NPC. Huh. I love how the oh the chains kind of are spinning around too. That is really really cool looking. You done, son? And we are gonna bop him here. Those of you who are still counting the lich streak, it is if you if you care, it's at a hundred and seventy uh, hundred seventy nine lich kills in a row without dying right now. But that's just that's just pretend that's going on in the background. But we won't make any choices based on it. Like I said, we'll take a peek at the items we got here. I am so I'm so happy that there's new stuff in the game. It's really really fun. We had on our run a lot of good stuff. One, two, three, four. We almost got all five master rounds. Gilded Bullets was a big carry we had there. As for new items, we got the Admit One, the Chamber Gun, the Table Tech Shells. So, you know, a decent amount of new items, considering. Like, I don't know how many they added. So, getting three is a pretty big deal. But the Chamber, chamber Gun, uh, Gun Zang carried us quite a bit. We could have used the Rad Gun a lot more, because, frankly, it's really good. It's really, really good. All right, so nothing unlocked as far as characters. We did get new items here, though. Scouter. Uh, okay. Orbital bullets. Orbital bullets. Cool. I'm assuming that means they just orbit around us. Okay, nothing up there. All right, I like that. Hello, man. Hey, don't you just love getting loot? I love getting loot, especially love rainbow chests. Don't you wish there were more rainbow chests? Of course you do. I can make that happen for you. Are you ready for a rainbow run? Yes, I only accept items in rainbow packaging. No, the chest drop rate is sensible and by design. Wow, genius. All right, well, we'll, we'll turn that on because next time we will indeed do a rainbow run. Rainbow run. How's it? How's my rain buddy? Give me back my single color chest. Just want to chat. All right. So next episode, we will check out the rainbow runs. And I am pumped indeed to explain them and show you what they're all about. If you're watching this the day it comes out, that new video will actually be out in uh, about an 
hour from the one time this one came out. It, it might be up by the time you see it. Uh, and if you're watching this also on the, the day it comes out, the update should be out for you guys at some point today. And I am going to be streaming live on twitch.tv slash retromation as well. So after you watch this video and the next one, if you're just not gungeoned out yet, you can come over and follow me there. Or if you're watching this way later, you can just follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation anyways, because I probably will also be streaming Gungeon at some point through ever what week you're watching that. But welcome to all the brand new people to Gungeon. Welcome to all the brand new people to my channel. This has been Farewell to Arms. I am very pumped to start this last chapter in our series here. This is going to be the start of a, of a pretty, pretty huge ride. So all of you who are coming in new... You're getting in on the ground floor of, of the next segment. And thank you so much for choosing me to be your guide through the Gungeon. And remember, if you want to ask questions that will be answered in the video, or just talk about Gungeon or my channel, there's a link in the description for that. You can follow me on Twitch at Transformation. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Like if you like it. Don't if you don't. Comment if you have something to say. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.